So I am completely in the dark about what's going on with WizKids and their terrain offerings, particularly the Warlock Tiles line. The last few sets of things branded Warlock Tiles didn't actually include any Warlock clips. We got the Spelunker's Docks, which I still need to review. And we had the Cavern set, which didn't use clips. And we had a few battle mats. WizKids has previously teased a sewer set and a wilderness set, but I think it's been at least a year since we've heard anything about them. Recently, we've gotten three scatter terrain sets that have new branding, dungeon dressings, as you can see here. Now, what's really interesting is that one of the original Warlock Tiles expansions was also called Dungeon Dressing. We did a video about it that you can see up there in the corner. And a few weeks ago, I bought that set again to give my buddy for his birthday, but the packaging had changed. So here's the original packaging right here. And here you can see the new one, Dungeon Dressing's base set. Now, I haven't gotten any official word from WizKids, though I do plan to ask them about it at Gen Con if I can, but my best guess is that they're at least moving away from the Warlock Tiles branding for their Scatter Terrain sets. Maybe that's just to make sure that people don't think you need to be in the Warlock Tiles ecosystem to use the Scatter Terrain? I don't know. Whether we'll see any more clip-based terrain with floors and walls and all that stuff remains to be seen, but as far as I can tell, there's nothing on the release calendar. Well, there is one exception. WizKids just announced a new Watchtower set that includes some Warlock Tiles floors, so maybe they still exist somewhere. But today we're going to look at this one, Merchant's Row, which is a variation on the Marketplace and Merchant sets that came out a couple of years ago now, I think, as part of the Warlock Tiles brand. Most of the pieces here are recycled from those sets and a couple of others, though they do generally have variant paint jobs. So this is an interesting set, and many thanks to WizKids for sending our way. So let's see how this new collection hangs with the originals. Everything we do here is made possible by Hit Point Press. Pick up one of their animated 5e card decks to add some magic to your 5e games. Let's start off with our two minis, labeled as Weapons Merchant and Potions Merchant. Unfortunately, they do not seem to include bases in the box, which has been an issue in the past as well. You can certainly get bases at your local game store or online, but it is an unfortunate oversight as they don't stand up too easily on their own. These minis were also included in the Merchant set, as you can see here, though with different paint schemes. Next up, we have a pig, a tanning rack, no relation, a cow, a grain sack, and the so-called market stall shelves. The pig was originally seen in the homestead set, the shelves and the tanning rack are from the merchant set, and the grain sack is from the marketplace set. The cow is from the medieval farmer set. You can find all those reviews on our channel. And you can see where the original design for that cow used to have spots, but this one has been painted solid brown. This collection really is cobbled together from a lot of previous sets. Next up, we have two covered vendors tables in blue and yellow and a display table. I believe the covered tables are new to this set, though it is a bit tough to track everything down as there have been a lot of sets at this point. If you recognize them, let me know down below. They are pretty nice. The little display table is from the Marketplace set. Next up, we have two large vendor stalls in orange and green. These are really the centerpieces of this collection. Previously, there was a blue version of the large vendor stall in the Marketplace set. These are large enough to put some of the shelves and the tables and the vendors underneath if you like. They're very nice pieces in my opinion, and they definitely add a lot of life to your street scenes. This one here isn't mentioned anywhere on the back of the box. It always seems like the exact makeup of these sets never quite matches what the packaging says exactly. It is a model that was included in the Merchant set where it was called the Market Stall Canopy. This one is greenish in color while the original was off white. It's a pretty good size for holding a mini as you can see with our weapons merchant here. Next up, we have a single square crate and a number of toppers. This is also from the Marketplace set, which came with the same four toppers, but also four crates, so you could use all the toppers at the same time. For this set, you're just gonna have to use the toppers on top of some of the shelves. But of course, they all fit into the crate just fine, depending on what the merchants have in stock that day. It is a shame they didn't include the other crates, though. And here you can see the entire set together. I always love sets like this that I can use in pretty much any town or village setup that I build. It is a little bit disappointing that we're not really getting many new sculpts in this set, aside from the covered vendors tables, I think. But at least where we have duplicates, they are painted up differently, so you can certainly combine all the sets together and it won't look too clony. All three of the sets fall in the same price range from about 30 to 50 bucks, and they're all still available. Marketplace certainly comes with the most stuffs, including a fountain and a gallows and more minis and a well and a town bell and a guillotine and a wagon. 
and lots more. So that's the one I would probably pick up first. The Merchant set primarily focuses on those Town Folk minis with 10 in total. And the Merchant's Row here stands out to me for those various nice stalls and tables. They certainly all complement each other very nicely, as you can see. If you are shopping around, Amazon has the Marketplace and the Merchant sets on sale for 30 and 35 bucks respectively right now, which I think is a pretty good deal. If you like Scatter Terrain, don't forget about those older sets. We'll have all those links down below. Before we wrap up, if you're looking to bling out your 5e games, check out the animated spell cards from Hit Point Press. They feature unique animations on the front and all the game details you need on the back. They have spell cards like these for all the base spells from cantrips all the way up to ninth level, and they have decks to track conditions and to introduce interesting townsfolk that you might meet at the local market, plus two in-game magical items, the Deck of Illusions, and the deck of many things. They make fantastic gifts and you can get an imperfect deck right now for just 10 bucks while supplies last. Check out the doohickey below for all the links. That's the animated decks from Hit Point Press. The Dungeon Dressings Merchant's Rosette is currently priced at 50 to 55 bucks, which is in line with the MSRPs of those original two sets. But since they're older, they're more likely to be sold at a discount like they are right now. Merchant's Row is in stores now though, and I doubt there's gonna be anything very pressing in this set that's gonna make folks wanna pick it up right away, but when it gets down to that 30 to $35 level where the original sets are now, I think it'll be a nice one to be able to mix and match and build the market that you need. It's very curious though to hear what you think about it, so let me know in the comment section down below. You can also pick yourself up a little COBOL companion at HeroPlush.com, and you can follow us on social media at one of these sites over here. We'll be heading to Gen Con this week, so be sure to come up and say hello if you see us there. But for now, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I will see you next time at the Gallant Goblin.